What's the party people? It's your friendly neighborhood taxidermist back again. My name is Louis. Hello. Today I'm going to show you all the stuff you need to taxidermy. But you know guys. Look at that. You see, I make it a little bit bigger. There we go. 6% are only subscribed. Uh, don't be like the 94%. Subscribe. Hit that away. So here are the basic things, All right? For making the booty, I use hot styrofoam, or you can use wood shavings. You now you just press them together and wiggle, uh, not, <laughs> not wiggle, wrap that in string. Definitely a sharp needle and some hard, hard string that you can't really rip. Like a good, good string. You also definitely want to get an old hair dryer. Dude, that thing works wonders. Especially when doing birds. You definitely want to get an old hairdryer or a new one. They aren't that expensive. You know that you just need a knife. That's basically it. You don't need a, a scalpel or whatever it's called. You definitely also want to get different wires. These are very, very thin. So wire in different sizes and to comb your nose. You definitely want to get those. They are quite expensive, I need to say that. It's the only thing you definitely want to put money in. You know, the eyes are something that just has to be right. If the eyes aren't right, dude, you aren't right. Put some nice eyes in there. And most of my boys are American viewers, so you definitely want to get borax or some other conservation material. Tanning solutions, borax, Oilan, alum, brain, whatever, man. But most of my boys are American viewers. I made a video doing easy taxidermy right over there. But wait a second, just watch that video. I'm showing y'all all the easy, just easy taxidermy, basic taxidermy. Not the best taxidermy, but the easy, easy to do taxidermy. Some more useful tips, you definitely don't need them, but it's good to have. A wire brush like this one is very fatty. You know, you can pluck into your your drill over here and just wiggle the feather away. Skypole is good and all, but for me it sometimes cuts a little bit too too good. Sometimes it's it's, it's better to use your fingers and slip them through rather than cutting it. But the most important thing you definitely want to have is a joy of taxidermy and just enjoy doing taxidermy as I always said if you don't do taxidermy you can't do good taxidermy that means you need to do it often and you need to fail and you need to fuck up and you need to cry so if you cry once doing taxidermy you're definitely on the right path that's going to be it. If you have more questions over here, you can write me in said comments over here. Goodbye. Ciao.